Hey guys, I'm Dwayne Self here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share some exciting news in regards to iOS 14. And now, as I mentioned on previous videos where I talked about iOS 14, which of course beta 1 will be announced on June 22nd at WWDC. I mentioned on previous videos that more leaks will come about as the day quickly approaches for the first beta to be released. In this video, I want to talk about some device compatibility list uh, that could suggest that Apple will be supporting more devices than previously anticipated or expected. And I also want to talk about Apple maybe rebranding the iOS platform to a specific device. So last year we saw Apple do this with iPad, right? iPad was separated. Now iPad OS is a thing. Now it looks like Apple this year at WWDC may be rebranding the iOS back to iPhone OS. Now I say back to iPhone OS because for those of you that do not know, when Apple announced the first generation iPhone in 2007, it was running iPhone OS 1.0, of course. And it wasn't until three generations later or four generations later that Apple branded to iOS 4. From iPhone OS 1.0 up to iPhone OS 3.0, iOS 4 was the first time that Apple switched to an iOS platform, right? Meaning that all devices, tablets, iPads, iPhones, and iPod touches would be running iOS, but now Apple looks to be going back. Now, the reason this could be a thing is because earlier today, John Prosser, of course, has tweeted out iPhone OS, just tweeted out iPhone OS, and this, of course, stirred the pot up a little bit, and everyone is suggesting that Apple could be rebranding back to iPhone OS for the iPhone. Now, to me, this makes a little bit of sense in some way because we have the iPad last year, the OS being branded as iPad OS and separating it from the other devices. And the iPhone was iPhone OS to begin with. And it looks like Apple could be just being more specific with the OS and branding of the OS. So for example, the HomePod would be HomePod OS, which makes a ton of sense. iPhone, iPhone OS iPad OS as it is now, and maybe even iOS just for the iPods, right? The iPod lineup is really dying, so maybe that just, I uh, will let it die out eventually. Now, I also wanted to talk about some leaked images and information that could suggest that Apple may be supporting more devices than originally expected. Maybe the iPhone SE first generation, iPhone 6S, and 6S Plus could be supported by the new iPhone OS. 14 later this year on June 22nd at WWDC. Now, the images that you're looking at here do come from reliable sources. Although these could easily be faked, I believe that Apple will be rebranding to iPhone OS and hopefully, hopefully if these images are telling the truth, we could see the first generation iPhone SE be supported by iPhone OS 14 after all, as well as the 6S and 6S Plus. Now I've mentioned a couple times that those older devices may not be supported by the software and these images could easily be faked, but I really do hope that Apple does support every single device from iOS 13 with iOS 14. Now let me know, what do you think? Do you think it's a great idea for Apple to rename or go back to the naming scheme iPhone OS for the iPhone? and just keeping it more simple and simplified so that users understand. I would like to know your thoughts about this in the comments and down below. Thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you real soon. Peace.